harsh butthole lip. Look at that. He that is not cute. That is that is a problem. Okay, let's wipe that off because it's terrifying to children. Well, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. So for today's video, obviously, you guys saw it in the title. We're going to be testing out some new makeup. And I, I took kind of a different tack for today's video. And I hope that, you know, you guys enjoy this. But I thought it would be interesting, since how normally when I do a full face or just new makeup videos in general, normally those gear more on like the medium to full coverage, like super glammy type side of things. And I thought it would be cool, since how, you know, we're heading into the hotter months, you know, spring, summer is kind of on the horizon. Um, I thought it would be nice to you maybe go in the other direction and play around with more like dewy makeup, more skin tint makeup, lighter, glowy, refreshing type products and see, you know, if we can test out some new stuff, see what we think, but keep it more so on like the lighter end of things and just, you know, just see how it goes. And I don't know if this seems weird or not coming from me, like the, the whole, you know, serum -y skin tint type situation, but uh, that's actually what I picked up for today. This was highly requested from you guys. This is the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint and uh, I'm just really excited to test this out again, see what it looks like the coverage, the finish on the skin, how well does it wear, does it mix with concealer, um, just how does it look in general, like I'm just, I'm very into that right now, so obviously I picked this up, I have a concealer that we're also going to be testing out, which now that I think about it, I think is more medium coverage, moral of the story, Paige just stopped talking, we are going to zoom the camera in and we're going to start talking about new makeup and not rambling on for 45 minutes about nothing, so let's zoom the camera in and let's get going, Woo! the wrong way, okay, okay, Oh. Alright, so I zoomed in and primed my skin really quickly off of camera. I just went in with a little bit of the Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas just to give me a nice even base that I'm used to. And I let that sink in for a couple of minutes, you know, again, just so we would be ready and prepared for this zoomed in moment. Hello, hi, pores. Um, but let's go ahead now and start talking about the skin tint that I have on the agenda. This is the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint. And here is the bottle. It looks like it has a dropper for application. And it does say shake before use. Okay, let's 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 definitely do that. Um, on the box here, what does it say? It says this is a clean, silicone and fragrance-free tinted serum packed with active nourishing ingredients and non-nano, non-nano, non-nano zinc oxide SPF 40. Okay, um, it says that this innovative weightless formula delivers light coverage that dries down to a natural dewy, dewy finish. Oh boy, okay. Fine lines and imperfections are softened and skin appears healthy. It has a plant-based 6% squalane and that helps to balance skin and improve elasticity, while 2% niacinamide adds in smoothing texture and a blend of macro and micro hyaluronic acids. Ooh, that's interesting, okay. All right, so really quickly, I am going to remove my rings for this process as well because for those of you that don't know um, we're just gonna we're apparently we're gonna sit down and have a little talk so for those of you that don't know I'm actually a big fan of like skin tints and lighter coverage type stuff that's in this family My favorite one currently is from ColourPop this is their pretty fresh hyaluronic acid tinted moisturizer and I think it looks beautiful when I apply it with my hands now does that mean that I do it all the time no because <laughs> truthfully I just hate the feeling of it all over like I feel like it gets in between my fingers and like in my little crevasses and in my little cuticles and it's just huh, I don't like the feeling but given that this one says to at least try it that way and press it in I do want to give that a shot because I feel like it could look beautiful it could kind of you know help me get a feel for it I don't know we're just gonna do it moral of the story so let's go ahead here I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna grab the little dropper here and maybe you know what maybe what I'll do is apply just like yay much right there and maybe I'll slather that on one side and then I could do the other side <laughs> <laughs> that was graceful. Okay, cool. Um, but I could do this on one side and then maybe the other side. What am I doing? What is this? What is that? I don't even know. But I could do the other side with a sponge. Okay. Oh, let's see. This is the feeling that I'm talking about. Oh, I do think actually, you know, the coverage on this for them saying it's a skin tint, like it's not bad. I mean, again, it is very, very light. You have to really rapidly adjust what you're talking about when you're talking skin tints. Hold on, let me let me wet my hands off. Here's the deal. Here's what I'm kind of thinking so far, right? I've applied one side with my hand, the other side with this sponge. Um, I have a couple of thoughts. So first thing first, I feel like a lot of the product, even though this was clean when I used it, it's stained, but I do feel like some of the product did just absorb into the sponge. So I can definitely see um, uh, the use as far as preserving the coverage that maybe applying it with your hands is a little bit of a better alternative. However, however, the finish of this with a sponge is beautiful. 
Like, I, I started to notice when I was applying it with my hand and just kind of rubbing it all over. I felt like I was more so just like squishing product all over my skin. But going in with it this way, I actually like the way that it's just pressing itself in. Like, I think it's just a mixture of the sponge itself plus the sponge is damp. And then, yes, it's like still attracting some of the product in, but at the same time, it's just giving it much more of an even application. So I think what I'm gonna do is just build this up a freckle. Again, obviously I'm not looking for like full crazy coverage or anything, um, but I do wanna just see like how workable is this. I do like that, you know, just again, that slight little add of coverage. The only thing that I'm noticing that I think is very important to notice, so I am a naturally like combo leaning oily and I have more of an oily T-zone. Um, and this product is so dewy. <laughs> like it is, <laughs> dare I say, grease ball doughy right now. Doughy? Dewy is what I meant to say. Dewy. Um, doughy, dear God, Paige. But it's seriously giving me like grease tastic vibes, like all along, like nose and chin area. It looks so unbelievably dewy. Um, now, every time I say the word dewy now, I'm, I'm going to be like, dewy, doughy. What did I just say? Um, but it's making me look, moral of the story, very greasy right through here. And I can just see that being a little bit of a potential issue. Like, if you're more, you know, on my side, normal, oily, whatever, um, I could see that being a thing. So let's go ahead and start talking about concealer. Now, this is where it's going to get extra fun because I picked up the concealer before I decided on this skin tint for today's video. So the concealer, I'm not exactly sure if it's going to like <laughs> work for this whole concept or not, but we're, we're still going to test it out. Um, this is from Zoeva and it is their Authentic Skin Perfector. It is their Retouch Concealer and I have it in the shade 010 Absolute, which oh boy does that sound absolutely pasty as white. Okay, um, but I have this concealer, <laughs> moral of the story, and we're going to have to play around with it you know, we're going to have to see coverage and, and all of that here in a second. So here is the concealer. I actually really like the minimized look of it. It's just very nice streamlined. Again, the shade is 010 Absolute. Let's go ahead and I think we're just going to start off by straight up just applying it to the under eye. And I'm not going to go in with a ton because obviously I've never... Oh no! Literally not one freckle of anything just got in this. Thank you, Jesus! Guys, I can't even tell you. I sit in this room and all of a sudden, like, a cat hair just floats into my eyeball. I drop this on the floor, which mm -hmm, y'all don't even want to know what's down there, and nothing. Thank you. Thank you up above. I can't say it enough. Anyways, let's go ahead. I'm not going to start off with a ton of product here, and I'm just going to start kind of blending it out. My thought process at first was, like, initially, you know, kind of sketched out, like, Paige, you probably shouldn't use this. It's not going to work. Oh, my God, that's gorgeous. Oh, I like that. I like that finish a lot. Okay. Uh, which doesn't surprise me, by the way, because the finish of that foundation is truly magical. Anyways, as I was saying, um, before I interrupted my damn self, um, when I went to kind of put this video together and start pairing products, I, I was really nervous about going in with this one specifically because I was like, oh, you know, how, how are the coverages going to match? Like, am I going to be able to make it work? And I ended up obviously settling on using it um, for today's video because something I've been loving lately and something I thought I could mention to you guys. I have been really enjoying using skin tints and like, you know, lighter coverage foundation, serums, whatever, that are just really light coverage. And then when I go in, I still do a lot of the same face products, but I sheer them out. And I've really been liking and getting to what we're doing next. I've been enjoying the look of taking and, you know, yes, we have concealer up here, but then also taking and blending just a freckle of that concealer over my cheeks, like if I'm having a really bad acne moment, because not only does it give me a freckle more coverage, again, because I, I really go through and like sheer it out and, and, you know, beat it into my skin so it's not like full, full coverage, but I've really been enjoying this look because I feel like, and you can see all my redness and everything, like it's still peeking through. It's a little bit more covered, but not much. But what it does do is it helps even out my overall complexion and it helps to better match my under eyes with the rest of my face. Like it helps just match all of the planes of my face together and I feel like it looks just absolutely beautiful. This is a little like different, slightly different technique that I've been testing out for probably the last like three or so weeks um, just to see if I liked the look of it. It wasn't until today's video when I was going through and, and you know again pairing up these products and you know should I shouldn't I with this you know is it gonna look weird that I was like Paige you know what you're doing like I you need to have a little bit more confidence in your ability to do your makeup and and bring it to people because I'm, I'm always so nervous that you guys are gonna be like that's so stupid or like why would you do that or whatever and I 
literally have no reason or no basis for feeling that way. Like, it's completely unsubstantiated at this point because I feel like for the most part, you guys are really cool with me, you know, learning with you and bringing you my thoughts and whatnot. So I say all of this because I hope you guys like, you know, this random little technique that I've been doing for a hot minute. Um, I've, I've really been enjoying it. I've been using it a lot lately with the Hourglass Vanish Concealer and with the Pat McGrath Concealer. And I really love the way that it looks on my skin. And um, honestly, right now is no different. I really like the way that that concealer looks under my eyes. I like the way it settles in over my cheeks. And the two of those products mixing together looks really beautiful. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of that Fenty powder and set under my eyes, just right here. I'm not gonna take it any farther. I'm sorry, but does that look absolutely stunning to to you guys on camera like I can't tell if you can see it or not because I can't see that far away but like this side versus this side this side is unset this side has been set with a little bit of the Fenty powder and it looks so beautiful. Now next up, the reason that I only set the under eyes is because we have this guy from Becca. It is their Ignite Liquified Light Highlighter in the shade Acceptance, and I'm actually really excited about this. I had it in my cart over at Ulta, and then I was able to get it from Octoly, so thank you, Becca slash Octoly, for sending it over to me to test out. Um, obviously, it was gifted, but y'all know I'm about ready to give my honest ass opinion, and I'm so freaking excited um, because I love liquid highlights. I love anything glowy in general. Look at how stunning this is. Oh dear God in heaven. I am so excited to test this out. Harness the power of liquefied light with this weightless face and body highlight. Multidimensional micro pearls are suspended in our crystal gel formula to give skin a pearlized glow that is transfer and water resistant. It is infused with an energizing fragrance blend of juicy pineapple, fresh coconut, and orange flower notes. The moisture, oh my god, does that just smell damn wonderful. Okay. Okay, we're gonna be noting the fragrance, okay. Um, the moisturizing formula and uplifted scent provide a multi-sensory experience that ignites optimism and lights you up from the outside in, inside out. Damn, <laughs> that just wrote itself. Okay, let's go ahead, let's, we have a lot to judge on, all right. Ooh, oh, dear God, <laughs> that's absolutely beautiful. Look at how blinding that is. Ooh, ooh, guys, okay, so I just took a teeny tiny little bit of it and just like rubbed it by itself on my hand. So here's like the big strip so you guys can see it on camera, but then right here, I just worked out like a teeny little amount of it and just rubbed it into my hand. Look at how luminous that looks. Oh, it's so pretty. I think I'm gonna apply it with my finger and I'm gonna start on this cheek and we're just gonna kind of tap a rusey right on and see, ooh, ooh, that, oh, okay. All right, I'm liking this. If you see that this area right in here looks a little funky, just keep in mind, I did set my under eye, so there is a little, like a little lip right there where there's powder. Um, so, so try not to focus on that and just focus right through here. Ooh, yeah, okay, that is that is really pretty actually. I, I kind of like it. Wait a second. Oh, hell yes, that does smell fantastic. Okay, I have been sitting here this whole time and I'm like, my God, something smells delightful. Paige, it's what you're applying. Oh my word. Ooh, honey, it smells like I just went to the damn beach. Ooh, okay, that was that was a lot I know, but wow. Okay, so I need to move on relatively quicker than what I'm doing, because I think I'm three products in, and it's taken me um, an hour and a half. So let's, let's, let's move it along, Paige. Dear God, dear God, Paige, shut up. So really quickly, I'm gonna go in with some of this from Charlotte Tilbury. This is their airbrush, what is this? Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder in the shade Fair. And I'm just gonna apply this quickly here with the Scott Barnes 67 brush. It's just a big old fluffy brush. And fun fact, by the way, I actually repurchased this powder this last time around when I um, placed my order for the Ilia serum and whatnot from Beautylish, that, the Wayne Goss lipsticks, that whole thing. Um, because I haven't used this in a really long time. Like, it's probably been two or so years at this point. Oh, <laughs> harsh butthole lip. Look at that. <laughs> that is not cute. That is that is a problem. Okay, let's wipe that off because it's terrifying to children. Much better. Dear God, I, th I think my lips, as I get older, my lips are naturally getting more and more pink. Like, that's my natural lip color. Isn't that ridiculous? Anyways, before I was so rudely interrupted, um, not that my story was that great, all I was gonna say is that I haven't used this in so long, so obviously I repurchased it this time from Beautylish, um, but I haven't used this in probably two-ish years, I wanna say, because when I used to use it, my skin was so oily that literally this powder did absolutely nothing. It looked so, so horrible on my skin. Really quickly, I still need to keep it moving, so I'm just gonna bronze super fast here. This is my Essence Matte Bronzing Powder, and I'm gonna take that on a little duo fiber. I feel like it just got really dark in here. Hold on. 
All right, this is better. It's darker on this half of the face, but it's always like that for some reason lately when I film. Um, so, oh well. So I'm just gonna go through and lightly bronze. Now for blush, you guys have always heard me talk about this um, Cover FX Duo. This is in the shade Soft Peach, and I have used this so, so much, and I just, I'm absolutely obsessed with it. So when Ulta had their 21 Days of Beauty sale, these were half off. So I took it upon myself to grab just a couple more shades, you know, four. Um, and I think for today, I might wanna try, ooh, maybe warm honey. I don't know. This one has just like always called to me. Okay, so this is one of my favorite blush brushes. This is the um, Morphe JH06. It was part of the collab with Jaclyn Hill. And this brush has the most beautiful movement to it. I love this for blushes um, or for like a really loose, like all over kind of highlight. It looks beautiful for that as well. But obviously today we're using it for blush. And I am going to go in between both of these and really just mix the two sides together, the matte side and the uh, shimmery side. And I'm going to very lightly just kind of squiggle them onto the cheek here. Ooh. Oh, that is a beautiful color. Okay. Yep, that's gorgeous. And then just to go in and blend everything together, I'm going to take a little bit of my Hourglass Ethereal Light Powder here. And I'm going to use that to buff everything in and just blend and soften the blush ever so gently. So for brows, I don't have a new pencil, but I do have a new gel right here. This is from Urban Decay. It is their uh, inked brow up to 60 hour wear, insanely long lasting waterproof brow gel. And I have this in the shade Neutral Nana, but before I go in with that, I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of my Benefit Brow Styler just to you know give me the color, the shape, and all of that. And then we will go ahead and hit it with a little bit of the Urban Decay brow gel and just see how does it look on the brows, does it fluff them up, that sort of thing. Guys, I just need you to understand something about me. I <laughs> I must be losing my touch. So I just pulled this out of the package, right? So I, I went through and I did my brows, got the color going with this, and, which by the way, the powder got a little away from me right here. It's a little thick, right? So I thought, okay, I'll do this. I'll go in with my brow gel. I'll shape everything out with concealer. It'll be fine. Then um, as I get done with this, I'm t obviously taking this one out of the package. And it wasn't until right about this moment that I realized this is a brush applicator. And then I look at the box, which also has a brush applicator. And um, long story short, this is actually supposed to be like what you use to be the color right through here. Um, it's not like a brow gel like I thought it was. Um, it's definitely <laughs> not that. It's it's the color portion. So um, really sorry about that. I'm just going to go ahead off of camera. I'm going to save this for another video. We'll still talk about it later. We just don't have to talk about it right now. Um, so I'm just going to set that right there. And I'll do my brow gel, reshape out the brow and I will be back to uh, talk about talk about whatever's next because I just I can't believe I just did that guys and, and oh and my battery lights blinking at me so I'm gonna change the battery Oh dear God, <laughs> what is wrong with me today? All right guys, so I am back. I have been off of camera for what feels like years, all right? After we had the little eyebrow debacle, um, I tried to fix my eyebrows, which I feel like that is where everything just went crazy. So I'm gonna stop there with that. And then I did obviously while I was off of camera, just apply a little something to the eyes. I just went in with that same blush palette that I used on my face. I put the matte shade through the crease and then a little bit of the more shimmery blush side, this one right here, all over the lid. So it just has a little lilt, but it's still on like the nice, easy, breezy, glowy kind of side. But moving on from there, before I go in and highlight or do anything else, I do want to set down my face. And given how, you know, it's definitely more so on the matte side right now, I'm going to go in with my Dewy Glow Setting Spray first, which normally this is something I would reserve for later. But because we're going for that nice and glowy and breezy look from the Ilia Skin Tint, I really want to start rejuvenating the skin. So I'm going to grab a little bit of this first, take the glasses off my face. I've made that that mistake several times. Now, while that's soaking into the skin, let's start talking about our highlight. This is from Dior. It is their Dior Nude Skin Luminizer, and I have it in the shade 001 Rosy Vibes. And oh my God, it comes in a velvet pouch. Like what, what level of bouge? Okay, thank you, Dior. Here is the packaging itself. Oh my God, that's so good. I, guys, I love Dior as it is and I love their highlights. Okay, get out of here, thank you. So here is a swatch of it. I built it up just a little bit so you guys could see it a little bit better on camera. It's really pretty. I like it. It's not overly pink, but it does have, you know, a, enough of a lilt that you can see it. And I'm really hoping that this looks good on my skin tone because I don't typically gravitate towards like pinky toned highlights. Now to go in and apply this, I'm gonna grab my e.l.f. Jelly Pop Stipple Brush here. I'm just gonna swiggle it around in the pan and... 
Okay, so that's absolutely beautiful, right? Like, I'm not the only one seeing this. I think what's doing it for me, what I'm loving about this, God, that's beautiful. Um, I think what it is, is that it's not just like a pink toned highlight. It has a pink undertone to it, but it also has like a warm kind of a, a pearlized champagne mixed in with the pink. So it doesn't come off and just give you straight pink vibes. It gives you like pearlescent champagne pink. So it, it kind of like also melts into the skin at the same time. Ooh, that's actually really beautiful. Okay, I am liking that. Now that I actually put my hair back behind the glasses where it goes, um, maybe I won't have to whip it around like Willow Dam Smith and I can get back to what I was doing, which is trying to apply my highlight. I was sitting over here like struggle busting, trying to flip my hair all over the damn place. Like, Paige, just stop, <laughs> put your hair back and you'll be good to go. But for some reason, that's like the last thing to occur to me. Then with the highlight all good and applied, I'm gonna go in with one more spritz of my Dewy Glow here. I do that just to help press in all the powder products, just really meld them into my skin. So that way it helps eliminate like any chalky or like dusty appearance. Now it's time for mascara and I'm actually pumped because not only will this step save us a little bit of time, but it's also something I've never tried before. And that is the mascara from Pat McGrath. This is the Fetish Eyes Mascara. All right, so I have it, I'm in. I actually like the all black. It's a very sleek component. And the bristles on this look pretty good. I like that it's a really packed bristle brush. I feel like I have better luck with this type of a brush application than the more sparse like uh, really dense rubberized brushes so I'm gonna go ahead obviously curl up the lashes and then I'm gonna apply a couple of coats of this and then we're almost done we're in the home stretch guys we're in the home stretch right, you guys I am back the mascara has been just drying here and of course I was meticulously trying to wipe it off of all the areas that I got it on my face which was a shit show but I think that this mascara looks lovely okay I feel like my lashes look lifted they look long they have good volume. They have a good color. Like I am just, I, I'm, I'm really enjoying the way that that portion right there just came together. Also really quickly, just pause while I put my rings back on. I just looked down and I haven't uh, had them on since I applied the skin tint at the very beginning of the video. But anyways, at this point, you guys, everything is done except for lips. And I am so freaking excited because for me, the lip portion of this video is like, oh, it's what it's all about. It's what I'm living for. And that is of course the Wayne Goss lip collection. So just give me one second while I grab it because oh, <laughs> I just need to savor this moment. Guys, look at this box of excitement. This box of beautiful Wayne Goss sexy ass goodies. I am so freaking excited. Oh my God. Oh, oh my God. Like I could have heart palpitations just thinking about it. Oh my God, my necklace is crooked again. Guys, where were you on that one? Hmm? Where were you? That's right, I didn't hear you, I didn't hear you. I think the first thing that needs to happen here is I need to decide which colors I want to play around with. Now, it is important for me to mention in this video, I'm not gonna be going through and like swatching every color and, and you know, going through the whole thing because originally that was actually going to be a video on this channel, just a full like go through, swatch, application, consistency, whatnot. Uh, but then mine ended up coming in like a day or two later and a ton of other YouTubers had already put up their videos. What I will do is link down below the original Wayne Goss launch video because in that video, he had Mel Thompson try on every single shade. And then I will also link with that um, Teresa is Dead, her video she had, I wanna say maybe four lipsticks, a couple glosses, a couple of the liner, something like that. Uh, but she did pick up some shades and if you'd like to hear her opinion, experience, what they look like on her, um, I I'll link that down below as well. All right, so for lip liner, yeah, that's the color. Okay, we're gonna go in with this one. This is Natural Berry. I'm going to line out my lips here. I did go ahead with this and fill in about 80% of the lip just to give me a nice even all over color. Uh, but as far as the texture goes, it is different than I thought it would be. I kind of envisioned um, more of like, like a soft type feeling on it. More more of like um, what you get from like a ColourPop type lip liner, how those have just like a fluid feel to them. So just something to keep in mind that it does have more of the, um, like the stiff formula that when you're doing it, you're really gonna have to get in there and like work that color in. Guys, can I just say really quickly how much I love the packaging on these lipsticks? Like, I know it seems basic, but it is just so, oh my God, it's so Wayne Goss, it's painful. I love this. I love the sleek packaging, sleek aesthetic that man just brings to everything. Oh, I love it so much. This is the shade Lily. Can you see how beautiful that looks? Oh my God, the color. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead. And this is, by the way, the first time I'm testing his lipsticks. When I wore these on Friday, I tested out just a lip liner and a gloss. Mm-hmm, mm, guys, oh my God. That is so creamy. Like, it's so, 
Oh my God, it feels so comfortable, so hydrating. <gasps> Honey, let me count the ways. Now I think what I'm gonna do is just blot off here just a little bit of the lipstick so I can also go in with a gloss because you guys know me. Extra needs everything. And I'm gonna go in with one of the glosses. This is in the shade Petunia. Oh my God, everything about it. Color 10, texture 10, look at that. <gasps> Just look at that little pout. Oh, it's so nice, it's so nice. Oh my God, Wayne, Wayne. All right, you guys, that is the full face all done and completed. Um, I do want to obviously wrap up the video. We're going to talk about my final thoughts here, what I'm thinking about these products thus far. So let's go ahead and start off by throwing up the up close so that way we can talk about the overall complexion that's happening here. Um, I think as far as the coverage goes, we definitely ended up going a little farther than I'd intended with, you know, the building up of all these different products and whatnot. But I think at the end of it all, like if I have to really break down the products, I actually think the skin tint so far is looking to be a very workable product which is really surprising because I thought based on how like glowy and dewy and light coverage it was I really didn't think I'd have much wiggle room with it and obviously this is just a first impression so I can't give you like all the information I would like to give but what I am very interested about with this going forward again seeing just how workable it was with so many other products is I'm very interested to see now how well this does mix with other foundations and full coverage products products. Going from there to the concealer, I'm really enjoying that as well. I feel like the under eyes look very nice. The rest of my skin where I put it also looks very nice. Um, and, and it was one of those concealers too that I really like because the consistency is very um, workable. Like it's not so rich and um, high in pigment that it's difficult to blend or it's difficult to move around the skin. It just, it, I feel like it really melded in with everything else and just worked out seamlessly, which I really like. From there guys, I don't really have any other notes from the other products. Those were the only two that I needed to like revisit, but everything else I think I talked about and kind of gave my thoughts as I went. So that's pretty much all I have for these products. You guys can let me know down below if you were curious about them. Have you tried them? Do you like them? What are your thoughts? All of that good stuff. Leave it down in the comments. First, if there is anything that you would like to see, you know, like a product request type thing, something that you would really like me to take a look at, please feel free to leave that down in the comments as well because I just love hearing from you. And from there, per usual, if you haven't checked me out yet on Instagram and on Twitter, those as well as all of the products used in today's video will be linked down below. And of course, from there, if you haven't subscribed yet, please be sure to do that before you leave. I do put up three new videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. They go up around 7 a.m. my time here in good old Northern Michigan. And guys, I think that that's everything. Please don't forget to have an amazing day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Literally the loudest tractor of my life is driving on the road right now and it's going painfully slow. Like, have you ever seen a tractor? Boop, 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 boop. It's going slower than that. We're talking half speed. Go to YouTube and click like 0.25 speed. That's how slow this tractor is going. <sighs> okay, where is my, where's my, this, my mirror. That's what I'm looking for, mirror, my this. Where's my this? Can I buy a vowel page? Mirror. I just had a cat hair on my nose and it was itching me so bad I could have cried. Oh my God. <laughs> That's the making me crazy. All right, so we're shaking vigorously. I feel like it's been pretty vigorous this whole damn time. My arms are getting tired. Also, why is this hand going? I don't know. There's nothing in it. Okay. <laughs> wow. So where are your makeup wipes? Oh, you know what would be great? Great! Is if I could find anything for more than, I don't know, one moment. Because... I seriously feel like I just had makeup wipes. I was looking at makeup wipes. I was like, hey, look, there's a makeup wipe. And do you think I can find my makeup wipes? No.